Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Traders Anthony here. We have this added feature to our trend bars indicator giving us buy and sell signals as you can see here. What I'll do with this video is show you how to use this and we're going to run through these recent alerts and see how they stack up. That's a little bit of information you need regarding this indicator. First of all, I just want to show you this. I've got this open on a five minute chart and I'm going to mark up where the indicator started. Now, we're going to go over here to the one hour chart. That same vertical line, see how it lines up with the one hour. Mouse, you can see it moves in these increments on the higher time frame, but it's pretty well the same point in time, a little bit slightly delayed on this chart. Have a look at it on the 30 minute. See this? So essentially, what this is doing, it's picking up information from the four hour and the daily. And if the data that it's looking at meets the indicator's parameters, it paints this bar and gives us a signal. There's not much of a shift in terms of where the signal fires on any chart because it's to do with the four and daily time frame. So this is not an indicator that's time frame specific, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Have a look at it on the 15, you see? Let's have a look at it on the three minute. All right, now we just shift this slightly across. So you know, there'll be a variation of a candle increment. That's a three minute chart. Let's have a look at it on the one minute. All right, one minute chart, that's most accurate. So let's go out of here and now 15 minute. It's a candle off, one hour. What I'm trying to say is it's fairly close to the same point in time on all charts. What's gonna happen though is the lower time frame is gonna get you in earlier. So rather than having this set on, on the daily, uh, on an hourly time frame, because that's actually where we see it paint on the, on the uh, hourly, this is where it triggers on the lower time frame. So it's gonna get us in to an opportunity a little earlier. So if you prefer to trade the 15 minute chart, set this up on a three minute chart. There's your 15 minute chart down here. It's the same entry point more or less, you see? So what it does is it looks at the daily and it says, yep, the daily is trending up. It looks at the four hour. The four hours favorable. We've got a pullback and we've got this green candle and it gives us the signal. That's that. The other thing is that this repaints. So don't just blindly take every signal. So let's just have a look at it with a three chart layout. This is easier to manage or, or um, you know, easier on the eye. We know that the daily is favorable. So we can see the four hour. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm keen on accumulation distribution levels. A lot of my trades are going to be in a trend, pull back down in. Okay, so have a look at this four hour chart. And this is the kind of thing we're looking for. We mark up these order blocks. In fact, our indicator will even do that for us. So let me just go to the trend bars, do this. Enable, disable. Okay, so we've got these zones here. See how this accumulation distribution has picked up this shaded zone here. There's a blue line in the middle where the dotted line is. There's a blue line there. And if we look back, this originated from this red candle right here. So our indicator is giving us this four hour bullish order block. And most of my trades, I'm going to be looking for the trend the pullback into this accumulation zone here and the opportunity in here. Okay, so I'll just show you this. Four hour, color it blue. Here's the break of structure, defining this as a valid accumulation range. Break by, pulls back down into it, bullish trend. So this is a sort of setup I'm wanting. So when we go out, and we see this, let me just go into this chart here. So let me just open this up on a, say a three. The one minute's a little bit fast. We'll convert this to a 30. So we've got our four hour, our 30 minute. We don't need the indicator painting on this because we've already got it up here. It's gonna be the same spot. So we may as well take it out. So I'll remove that. I'm okay with that. And I want these divergence signals as well. Close that up. We've got the four hour pullback into the order block. We can see that it's bullish on the four. 
It's bullish on the 30. Very deep pullback down in here, though. And look, we've got this. Now, the other thing that we have with this is have a look at these green lines here. These are divergence signals. So if we see a combination of this green buy with divergence signals and it's pulling into a key level of support or resistance, I think that's the trade that I want to take. Gets you in really early. Here it is. Where do you want to start? Right on it. Why not? So that's that. Let, let's just quickly run through here. I'll just These are, are fresh. We'll just go down here. This one was a little bit earlier, <laughs> five minutes ago. Now, it does repaint. So if the condition changes, it will disappear. The, the, the bar will, will disappear. Okay, so this is giving us the condition being met. So there's the alert, five-minute chart. But guess what we don't see now? We don't see the bar. It would have fired. It's 18.10. So let's just see where's. Okay, it fired on this red candle because there was a condition that m was met. We've got a bearish trend. We've got a pullback. It, well, it's reached this order block here and back here. And this orange line is a weekly resistance. That's probably not a bad signal. Okay, so we could see the time was 18.10. That's a sell. It's short. And it was at 18.10. That was a signal on this candle. So let's say we took that. All right, so you want to do a little bit of technical analysis and size it up. Can this spike up and, and, and blow through this, this level? Of course it can. But what we do have with this is an incredible edge in the market. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Let's have a look at the Swissy Yen. So don't just blindly jump in taking any one of these trades. This was a nice one, I think. So why did I take this trade? Look at this. Here's the four hour. The pullback down into the order block, perfect. I'll take that. Can it continue down through and trade south? Of course it can. But we have an edge in the market. And now this stop loss under the, the this our cloud here, if you're going to go one-to-one -one risk reward, well, this is already a, a winning trade. Let's have a look at the next one. Euro Oz. Okay, nice one. 17.40, where was that? Okay, 17.40. Okay, so this was a previous signal. We had another signal at 17.40 there. Okay, it's saying bullish. Why? Okay, see this four hour? See how it's trending up like this? Let's have a look at it on the daily as well. But, you know, do you want to take that? We're trading into this, this weekly resistance. Look at this orange line. No, I wouldn't want to take that. Just open this up. So what we're not getting is this red candle down here. So let's just have a look at trend bar settings and we can change the sensitivity this is accumulation distribution drop it down to two what does it look like there you go see so i might leave it on two because it's given us look there's our level so this has been bearish in fact let's just go back and have a look at some of these signals because these are the opportunities I'm looking for, actually, on the four-hour chart. I'll show you this. Look at this. Look at these pullbacks. There's a trade. There's a trade. All right, let's just see what these look like. There's a trade. There's one. Maybe there's one here. Let's just see if we received any signals on these. I've marked it up. We'll go into the lower time frame, and we'll go back in time. We've got the bearish bar under. You'll see where my uh, markups are. Okay, so the, these are pullbacks on the four hour. These are movements back into the distribution level. But these are the opportunities we want. So what do we get? Look at these signals. Look at that trade. Kicked off right here. And the other thing we have as well is these signals here support this. Let's go back and have a look. There's the sell signal. There's our dot. Now this is ideal. This is really what I'm looking for. Have a look at this. We know that on the four hour chart, what we're getting here is, I'll just paint a picture. We've got this range and then we get a, a spike up and then we get that. This is a stop run. These signals give us the stop run. Here's the range through here. We get this break out of the range bullish, attacking buy side liquidity, breaks out. This signal here, after this sell signal, this dot is confirmation. You could have traded from here if you wanted to. Wait for the pullback up in. You would have probably entered around there. 
you know, just keep in mind that it's a four hour, it's a pullback into a four hour order block. We're getting the signal. It's in a downtrend as you trade. I hope this is making sense. You know, I mean, look at that. Another pullback here on the four hour chart and we get the signal. Sell. This is hunting stops. They trap short traders in and then they push it up and they take out stop losses here. Okay. All these retail traders selling, bang up they go and then where do they take it? Look at this. Down it goes and then it rolls over. But that, that's vicious. In any case, our signals are giving us these opportunities. Now, we've got a green signal here. Would you buy? Probably not. Why? Because this... Have a look. See what's going on here. Let me just take... Uh, so you can switch these on and off. So I'll just take out the um, accumulation distribution zone just to tidy up the chart a little bit. Let me just clear that. This is in a downtrend. So, you know, you want to use a little bit of common sense. And all these pullbacks up into these order blocks, fine. We take them. Now look what happened here. Same thing. Pull back into this green level here. Everybody is shorting it. Can't tell you how many traders are having a party with these pullbacks. It pulls back in here and they short it again. And look what smart money is waiting. There is a ton of liquidity above. Look at all these pullbacks. Look how many people are shorting this. And they take it out. We get a buy signal. But I wouldn't be interested in, in taking that trade. So let's just have a look. See what else we've got. Aussie dollar. Let's just keep this really simple. I've done a ton of videos on our breakout strategy. It's no different. Here's a sell there. See where it happened? Right at the top. Okay, let's just mark the crossroads. That's the point there. That's our sell signal. Look at that. There it is on the 30-minute chart here. On the four hour. So what do we got on the four hour? Okay, so it's kind of trending sideways. We've got these movements Big movements up and down, okay. It hits this orange level. That's a weekly resistance. Have a look at our red dots. Okay, so this is a big level. It's pushed up into it previously, attacking buy side liquidity above these highs. It's, it's not an ideal trend setup because we've traded into the cloud. It's a matter of weighing up the argument. And sometimes there's a stronger argument in taking a trade than other times okay so that's the risk euro dollar here it is here Let's just have a look at this on the three minute out of curiosity so it coincides with our our down triangle here i like that if you see this signal and you can see a red dot and a triangle in around the vicinity here and you have a look at this on the four hour it's trending down there's a trade so i think i'll wrap it up at that guys and uh, invite you to join gain access to the indicators and enjoy the ride. I mean, look at all these opportunities. So I think with that, I hope you have a great day, safe trading, and we'll see you in the next video.